All right, guys. So, hey, Scorpios. I want to thank you guys for... I got my ring on the wrong way. I want to thank you guys for um, coming to my channel, right? Um, this is your mid-March 2021 love reading. Now, I do have to apologize for getting these readings off to you guys late. Um, I just did your other March love reading, and I said just to make it up, I'm going to do two readings for you guys back-to-back, -back, okay? So... Let's get started. What is the overall energy for Scorpios for March 2021? This is their mid-March love reading. What is the overall energy? Justice, okay. So I feel like you guys are going through some type of karmic um, lesson right now, okay? So I feel like you guys are being tested, right? Because a lot of times karmic lessons, they can be kind of, they could be rough, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you are feeling like you're not being treated fairly by the person you're involved with. Um, and it's like... Uh, it's like this feeling of like, dang, why can't they just treat me fairly? Like, why do they got to treat me so, like, effed up, you know? And with the Eight of Swords, you feel stuck, you feel trapped, you don't know what to do. You ever, I don't know why I used to say this to you, Scorpios, but you're not stupid. I don't know, I just felt that message. Um, that's what I felt your spirit guys was telling me to tell you, you're not stupid, right? I feel like a lot of y'all feel stupid. It's like y'all know that y'all not being treated the right way. Y'all feel like y'all being played, but you feel trapped, you feel stuck because you, you you really love this person, right? So it's like you're beating yourself up about it though, you know? You're like, dang, like I'm so stupid. Like I know they hurt me, I know them play they're playing me, but like why do I feel so stuck? Why do I feel so trapped, you know? Like why am I why am I like this, <laughs> you know, um, I really do feel like you guys are beating yourself up about this, you know, um, you just feel very confused, and I just want you guys to know you're not dumb, and just understand that when you're confused, you cannot think clearly, okay, so don't beat yourself up about the decisions that you're making right now, I just felt like saying that, I felt like Spirit was telling me to tell you that, okay, with the Seven of Swords, you know, you could be thinking of ways to be sneaky okay um sometimes you dealt the wrong person they can bring a, a part of this they can bring out a side of you that you never knew you had i ain't gonna lie scorpios y'all are kind of known for being sneaky though um i, I don't think y'all are bad people though okay but y'all known for being sneaky i think anyone could be sneaky i'm not saying like like that's a bad thing um I feel like Scorpios are the type of people that, like, y'all only become sneaky when people F you over. It's like, y'all not going to just be sneaky just to be sneaky. Like, someone has to F you over for you to be sneaky, okay? I have friends that are Scorpios, and they're really cool people. Actually, one of my, you know what's funny? Two of my friends, they got the same name, and they're Scorpios, and they're, like, the coolest girls I've ever met. So, don't get it after. I'm not saying nothing bad about Scorpios, okay? But y'all are known for being sneaky. Every sign has something that they're known for, right? Um... So like I said, it's like this person really pushing you, like they're pushing you to really like violate them, okay? Don't do it because <laughs> we, we started off with justice and justice is about karma, right? And when I see justice, justice is not karma. Okay, justice is about karma, but it's not karma like we all think, right? So like they teach you in karma where if you do something bad, bad gonna happen to you, right? But I like the way Tarot explains justice and karma because what it's about is more so law and effect. So everything you do, there's a consequence, right? Whether it be good or bad. Um, so you could be doing the right thing and something bad happened to you. Because it's all about what you do and the effect of what you of what you of what you did happen, right? So it could be like um you could be going to the store. You're doing something good. You're going to the store for your mom, whatever. She says, oh, hey, go to the store for you. You go to the store for her. 
and God forbid you get robbed. You wasn't doing anything bad, but, you know, you got robbed, right? So it's kind of like Spirit saying, don't do nothing evil because it could backfire on you, okay? It may feel good in the moment, but it could really backfire on you, okay? With the moon being here. Some secrets could come out about you. So I don't know if you're thinking about cheating on this person, but be careful because it could come out and you may regret it, okay? We have judgment here. There's a lot of these arcanas here. It's like spirit is really telling you to make better decisions. Um, you are kind of going through a rebirth where they want you to go about things in, in a better way than you have in the past. I think in the past you may have resorted to violating people that have hurt you and you you don't want to do that this time okay you want to do the right thing a lot of major con is a fool okay so there there is a need for you to have a new start right because this person is making you think bad things and making you want to do bad things you need a new start <laughs> you shouldn't be with someone who makes you even think about doing things that you're not supposed to do Okay, another major arcana and the magician. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I'm telling you guys, I really think that like you got some tricks up your sleeve to really violate this person because I really think they did something to you. When I see justice towards the overall energy. This could lead to, like, someone going to jail. So just be careful. You don't want the law to step in. Okay? Yeah, the Knight of Cups here. And you want to be careful, too, because I do feel like whoever this person is, they're going to try to come back and sweet talk you. Okay? Um, they may even try to come back wanting a reconciliation, you know? But with death, I feel like Spirit is saying that it is time to end this with this person. It is very important because this can really lead to you getting yourself jammed up. Okay, so I am going to ask Spirit, how does this person feel about the Scorpio? So we have the Page of Cups here. So there's definitely some you know there's feelings here right but they're coming out of the page so it's not the strongest okay um th this this kind of happens when two people are not really seeing eye to eye feelings start to kind of die down a little bit like people start to lose a little bit of interest okay i feel like the feelings were stronger for you before okay you have the three of swords here which is about heartbreak so i feel like this person feels like you've hurt them okay because, like I said, Scorpios are the type that if you violate them, they will violate you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, probably in the past, you probably have violated them, you know? Maybe you said some things to them that hurt their feelings. But, remember, they're coming out of the page, okay? They're coming out of the page because the page of pentacles. So, this is a very immature person that you're dealing with. This is like a child. It's like a teenager, okay? Um, They're still invested, but not as much as they once were. Why? Because when it gets tough. When you guys are not getting along, they become a coward, okay? And they want to scatter. Um, that is your energy, unfortunately. They've got the magician here. So y'all kind of in the same energy where it's like this person's kind of playing games. And, you know, the person in general, I kind of feel like could be a user too, okay? There's a few wands here, so... This person, like I said, they're still invested. You know, they still want you in their lives. Um, but I feel it's more so for their own personal benefit when I see that magician there. Um, I feel this person is a user. That's what I really feel. Yeah, the fool. So you guys are very much so mirroring each other. It's like this person still wants you in their life. They're still invested, right? But like I said, it's for their own for their own game, right? Um, they want things to move forward with you, right? They do want this to start with you, but like I said, it's for their own gain. Yeah, the two of swords. It's like 
they're still indecisive as to whether or not they want to be with you. But I feel they're staying because there are some benefits that you have. This could be your resources. It could be maybe you have a home. You have, I don't know, money. Or you just have stuff going on for yourself. You may have more than they do. The Eight of Swords, yeah, there's that confusion. Feeling trapped, feeling stuck. Like, feeling like they don't really want to be here. But they may feel stuck because there may not be better options for them at the moment. We do have judgment. So it's like, that's crazy that you're in the same energy. But the energy is kind of different because your energy is more so like, kind of like you're done. You're done, but like you want to violate though. Whereas this person is still trying to hold on, but for their own like benefit. You know, like wanting that reconciliation with you, but for their own benefit, the emperor, you know, like for them to be in control. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who's conniving, they're a user, they're controlling, they're domineering. They're not a good person. They're an a-hole. They treat people badly. <sighs> I don't know, man. Okay, so should the Scorpio continue to pursue this? <clears throat> got a queen of swords this is spirit saying come on scorpio be logic make head over heart decision okay you're better off on your own with the nine of pentacles being here you know that be patient before committing to anything there are better options available all right scorpio so i'm going to end this reading here hope you found it helpful and i'll see you in the next one bye